So we've seen how to deal with batches and non-continuous reactors. Actually, it's from moles, static moles. But now what happens with continuous flow reactors, which is the case of CSTR, uh, continuous tier tank reactor, PFR, which is plug flow reactor, and PBR, which is pack bed reactor. How do we account for that conversion? So it's very similar to the one we did in batch, but this time I'm going to do it a little bit slower because now we have an extra unit, which is the per unit time. And if you remember, the flows are essentially moles per time, whereas N of A is just moles. So that's the only difference. Okay, now let's do this. X of A, conversion of A. It's essentially the moles of A per unit time reacted. So let's say moles of A that reacted in, I don't know, one minute. Per the amount of moles of A per unit time that you're being fed or you are feeding. So the moles of A that you fed per those minutes or that minute. Okay. So yeah, once again, let's establish F of A or flux or flow of A. It's moles of A at the outlet per unit time or at the ending. So if I got this reactor, let's say F of A will be this number here. Now, F of A0 is the moles of A at the inlet per unit time. So let's say this is F of A0 or initial, which is mole of A per unit time. This is also the same mole of A per unit time. Okay. Now, uh, I need to get this quantity. How do I get the moles of A being reacted per unit time? That's very easy, similar to the batch reactor is the moles and feeding initially, which is this flow, minus the moles that are going out, the moles that are not reacting. So, of course, if I, if I have 100 moles being fed per minute and I'm taking out 20 moles per minute, I have a difference of 80. And what does that mean? Though that 80 means they are disappearing or they are converting to products. So that is the value I want to put in this equation. Now, moles of A fed per unit time, it's easy. They actually tell you it's F of A zero. So once again, we go to the definition of conversion and we show that this divided by this is my conversion. Or once again, as you saw in my batch reactor, it's way better to use it as a function of a f of a. You know, you have this here, this will be a constant, probably they will tell you always, and the conversion is also normally uh, choose. You choose a conversion or you set a conversion and then you see how much flow of you will get. So, yeah, I, we got this. Once we got this, actually this equation is what I wanted. Sorry for delaying the video, but it's very important you get the idea of this. Now let's apply these concepts and equations to our existing design equations. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about and hopefully you know what those letters mean. Because if you don't know what's that, please go back on the playlist because you really need to know in order to continue. So, yeah. We're going to use this equation for every continuous flow reactor. And in the next video, we're going to see the continuous tier tank reactor. And yeah, essentially just to substitute this formula. But yeah, I better tell you that in the next video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you liked the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? 
Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.